Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Calm Before the Storm playing as the Spanish Republic, which I've heard that this country has a ton of different routes, but if you don't know about Calm Before the Storm, we use a dynamic focus tree. Uh, this mod uses a system of, system of dynamic focus trees. This means that as the game progresses, your trees may receive different components or switch to new trees entirely. This ensures that we can add large trees for different scenarios without causing over clutter. Alright, and introduction. Spain. Spain is pain with, with an S. Has gone through a tough century. After the war no, with Napoleon and the loss of the empire, the country became increasingly divided into halves, hostile to each other, progressives and conservatives, that have taken different names throughout history. Fights between liberals and absolutists, Isabellines and Carlists, moderates and progressives, monarchists and republicans, federalists and unionists, and socialists and capitalists have shaped these last hundred years and have left a huge divide between these two halves of the population. After the massive unrest experienced by the country during the Bolshevik Trinium between 18 and 21, Chino Miguel Primo de Rivera stepped in and abolished a constitution with agreement with King Alfonso XIII, creating a military dictatorship. While his dictatorship brought stability, the shock of the Depression and the growing opposition led to the removal of Primo de Rivera and the installation of a provisional military government that called city council elections in all of Spain for the 12th of April 1931. Surprisingly, Republicans won in the main cities, which made the king leave the country. The Second Republic, of course, was born. This republic was not without problems. The center-left cabinet formed after 31 general election relies on the socialists to stay on power and has approved many reforms, the in military labor education that have agreed or angered the right that attempted a coup last year, led by General Sanjurjo. The coup failed in the government led by Manuel Anzania. A strong for now, let us prevail. And I accidentally already did this. So we have a Senate thing here, Congreso de los Deputados. So I accidentally did this, and I guess I clicked on Wolframium Extraction Funds. Many experts appoint to Galicia as a source of tungsten. We should ask Congress for funding these minor activities. So, and I had to click on Defender Law Proposition. We need to convince as many deputies as possible to do so. Our head of government shall deliver a speech in Congress defending your proposition and urging everyone to vote for it. And I did ex Parliament Explanation just to see what this was like. So, yeah. Um, 118 but out of 235 should be good enough, but the Constitution of the Spanish Republic. Or this one. Various deputies belonging to the more moderate groups of the Congress of the deputies have offered their affirmative vote on our latest law project. We need all the help we can get. Cool, so I actually have not looked at the focus tree yet. Oh, look at this. 31 Constitution. Anzania's government. Nationalized church properties. Le, le, le de Reforma Agraria. I'm sorry, I'm not Spanish at all. I just, I don't know any of this stuff. Anyways. But it allowed property occupations. And then we'll talk about the Constitution of the Spanish Republic. As we're going to have some coffee as well. And then we have Law for the Defense of the Republic. Uh, crush the San Jurjada. Labor reforms. And then continue the military reform. Followed up with the set. Eliminate the church subsidy. Uh, is there any other focuses just besides these ones? Uh, I kind of knew. No. Okay, it's cool. So, Public Order Act. We get political power. We could use that political power. Uh, get better consumer goods and a lot more political power. Holy crap. The Gearing Reform hasn't been finished yet. We need to draft a rustic leases act while, while continues the redistribution efforts and the right may protest all they want. The Second Spanish Republic is defined by the Constitution made in 31 as a free republic of workers of all classes where sovereignty resides on the, on the people. On practical terms, Spain is a parliamentary system with separation of powers, multipartidism, and freedom of speech and reunion. That estate is the president of the Spanish Republic, elected for a period of six years by the comp compromisarios, elected themselves by the people directly. Since 31, the president is Nisito Alcala Zamora, an old conservative and staunch Republican. <clears throat> Executive, executive power lies in the hands of the President of the Council of Ministers, who leads the government and chooses the ministers. He is chosen by the President of the Republic and can be disposed by voting with confidence in the Parliament. Now, the President of the Council is Manuel Anzania Diaz, leader of the leftist Republicans since the election of 1931. The Republic is an unicameral Parliament, also known as the Congress of the Deputies. The Parliament wields very strong powers and is able to depose both the President of the Republic and the President of the Council, propose laws, authorize the government to rule by decree, although they can always oversee the process, and approve regional constituents. And of course, they need to approve any law the government proposes. This reliance on Parliament rather than a strong executive is likely to cause instability in the future. The Constitution guarantees freedom and democracy. Uh, Parliament mechanics. Spain is a parliamentary republic, has access to it in the Decisions tab. That's what you already saw. 128 out of 235 is not too bad. And eventually, we can join the Allies. Or we just join France. And also, I do want to let you know for this campaign, we have left it on a historical, so we'll see what happens with this. We'll see what happens. The Aguirre problem. I was really close to playing China or Japan in this, for this campaign, but eh, we'll see what happens. Dong Bai. Oh, God. The Casas Vigias Massacre. A month ago, 
The Catalan Regional Defense Committee, persuaded by the railway workers, decided to call another strike to stop the consolidation of the bourgeois republic. As usual, barricades were formed in Catalonia, but the following of the strike was scarce, and the police easily restored order. The CNT National Committee distanced themselves from this failed strike, saying this wasn't our revolution. And this looks crazy. <clears throat> However, in the small town of Casas Vijas, Cadiz, a group of peasants affiliated with the CNT managed to cut the telephone lines and surround the Guardia civil garrison. A group of the civil and assault guards were sent to relieve the garrison, but when they arrived, they began arresting the protesters. Some of them took refuge in a nearby house, which was attacked by the guard assault guard with machine guns and rifles, and then burnt. All the protesters, except one, died, burnt, or alive, and shot by the police. The assault guard has continued arresting and executing local anarchists on the spot until they were ordered to withdraw. Nineteen men, two women, and one child have died at the hands of the police. The CNT is outraged, has intensified their military their militancy against the Republic, while both the right and left begin to attack President Azania, saying that it was him who ordered the executions. Although this is not true, our government has been very weakened. A disaster. Who needed political power, right? Negotiate with these guys? Um, uh, nah. We have enough seats. The f fascists don't like us, but whatever. So, yeah. Inefficient military opposition deputies offer help. Okay, that sounds good. Inefficient military, backwards economy, the gearing problem, all good stuff. Occupy territories. Civilian oversight. Um, oh, Hitler. Anaduzian Autonomy Assembly. After the approval of the Catalan Estituate of Autonomy, many regions have begun to draft their own. Today, the Assembly of Anaduzian Autonomy has ended in Cordoba, where representatives from most Andal Andalusian provinces have approved the basis for their own Estatute. However, although the pro pro proposal was approved, the small number of voters have disillusioned the Andalusian movement and its leader, Blas Infante. Despite this, the movement for Andalusian autonomy goes on. Everyone wants autonomy? Yeah, Spain is Spain is special. It's sort of like the Brazil of Europe, like some might say. Well, that's not bad. Garrisons are okay. Like, if, if you want to compare this to, like, infantry... Pr pr wait, infantry primacy. Um... Infantry is slightly better. They have less HP, but they have eh, barely any more. Eh, that's not bad, actually. It's really not too bad. I'm going to train a couple divisions, though. So We'll see what happens. We didn't need political power. Right. But let's do public works. Let's do this one. The Public Order Act. The strikes, protests, and even coup attempts have made it very clear that, for the, that the law for the defense of the Republic didn't go far enough. We need a law, a new law, a public order. And I hope that the situation calms down for a bit. We're losing political power today. Engineering schools strike? In protest for a new surveyor's law, the engineering schools have started to strike. An announcement to the government trying to limit their freedom. The law passes. The motion of confidence. Out of Casas Vijas incidents of January, the government seemed on the brink of collapse, however. It passed a motion of confidence voted today in Parliament. This, however, is only a temporary lifesaver at the government, as the vote has shown how divided the left is. At least we won, and Parliament debates corruption. Today's session of Congress is being dedicated to the corruption debate. Opposition members have taken to the floor to accuse the government of corruption, and the whole debate has quickly devolved into free-for-all where everyone accuses everyone else of corruption and proposes solutions for the problem. It's our turn to speak. What should we do, or should our spokesperson say? Crack down on the corruption, or any of the sus seniorias oppose? We have to be an example of honesty for the whole society. That this behavior is disgraceful. I want more stability. Hmm. And Xinjiang clique was annexed by Hami and Uk Torpan. Dong Bai. Oh, that didn't actually just fully die then, huh? Yeah, maybe I should have this on historical. Oh, wait. Oh, the Republic of China. Oh, I thought Japan went to war, to war with the Dong Bai people. Hmm. Hmm. And the elections. Happy 1933. We have to do something about the unemployed masses of populated cities and countryside. We can give them something to do by starting big public works projects. Also, that will also allow us to build the infrastructure a country needs badly. Re Renovacion Española Española announces its program. In a big act held today in Madrid, Monarchist Party RE has announced its big political goals for, to the sympathizers. They seem to advocate for an absolute corporate and Catholic monarchy and the complete derogation of the Republic reforms. While the party itself is so small, monarchism within the general staff could be dangerous, watch them closely, and formation of the SEDA. Jose Maria Gil Robles, Robles, leader of Acción Popular, is founded today in a grand rally of the Spanish Confederation of Autonomous Right. This new party, resort of the union of almost all right-wing parties in Spain, prioritizes the defense of Catholicism and anti-socialism as its main values. And other things, such as republicanism, they're split in right wings and moderate wings. The formation of this party greatly reinforces the right. The right unites. The Enabling Act. Nothing bad could happen with the Enabling Act. And now we're not losing political power. And we're not getting... <coughs> excuse me, we're not getting any, but... 
Look at that ideology wheel. We lost the vote. Bad news. Our latest initiative has just been debated in Parliament and has been defeated after contested debate. This failure is surely a hit for the government and our program. What do you mean we failed? Um, I'll be honest. Like, how do you, how, how does it fail? Uh, we had one seven, one twenty eight out of two thirty five. So, <clears throat> mm. ruling coalition seats. Well, maybe I should have expanded it more. Well, oh well. PEF funding day of the republic. Day of the fourteenth of April is the anniversary of the proclamation of the second Spanish Republic back in nineteen thirty one. That day, the people of Spain took this to the streets and celebrated their newly earned freedoms, and it's our duty to protect them. Viva la república. Mm, civilian taxes would be nice. Catholic press restrictions. Literacy, literacy wouldn't be too bad. Risk leases? I would like that, but... Uh, I like the political power and stuff. <clears throat> I do like that we get to see how many people support our stuff, though. Seat supporting the law. Well, we got nothing. So even if I click on anything, it seems like we're going to fail anyway, so... No one's supporting us in this stuff. Republican seats, Democratic Socialists, Revolutionary Socialists, Moderate Conservatives, Market Liberal seats. Do we even try? Um, SECN. Municipal elections. The yeah, municipal elections were held in almost all cities in Spain. Although Republicans maintained the majority in most of the major cities, the right has advanced in almost all regions. Worrisome. Cool. Public works. Followed up with, eliminate the church subsidy. We have to pass the law of religious confessions and congregations to ensure that church and state remain separate, We're removing the church subsidy and closing down Catholic schools. Mm, that seems kind of crazy, but <coughs> excuse me. Oh, excuse me. So let's say, hypothetically, I were to save the game and then choose one of these things. Will we still not be able to pass one of these things? Like extend military service, we could use twenty thousand more manpower. Um, the right would probably like that, right? Nothing's being debated. President, two two nine. In Castilla, the ILE and the literacy missions are asking for more funds for the projects in Castilla. We should try to help the cause of knowledge and improve their request. But if we clicked on that, we have one oh eight. Negotiate with the communists. Well, they have four seats. Defend a law proposition. We have a small amount of seats. See, we have 118. Opposition deputies offer help. We need all help we can get. So now we're on 28. And if my math is correct, which it might not be, 128 is more than half needed for this. No, is it this one that we need to vote? I think it's just a current law proposition. Yeah, because that's 107 that is in opposition. One twenty eight. Socialists and liberals support literacy missions. The socialists and moderate Republicans have both pledged their support for our literacy mission funding, saying that it's of the utmost importance that everyone in this country learn to read and think independently. Well, how do we get 307 out of negotiating with the communists? We've met with the communists to gather support for their literacy programs. They support them, but demand extension of the program to urban proletariat to get their votes. Who needed political power? Okay, so this should go right, right? We have, we're at 83 now. Things could change, but... I mean, I don't know how we got more seats than are available, but you know what? I'm not going to question it. As you can tell, I've done nothing with these guys yet, so. Oh, uh, what is this? Adaptable seems pretty nice. And let's go and get... Oh, Franco. Franco would never do anything bad. Military governor. Yeah, Franco, he's a, he's a good guy. He wouldn't do anything bad here. He's really good in defense, though. Huh. He's a rightist. By including him in our government, that should show a sign of unity, right? Right? Hmm. He's got a nice mustache. I wish I could grow a mustache like that. I should play his friend sometime, but we'll see. Alright. Let's go over here and choose to eliminate the church subsidy. <clears throat> Motors at speed, please. Thank you. And I guess we'll have the 1933 parliamentary elections. The results of the special election are clear. The right has won. Okay. The centrist PRR will now form a cabinet with the winners of the election. The right is set out. We have yet to see the extent of the reforms. You can implement PRR reforms. 311 is not... Yeah. 
How do we join these guys? After 36, the French Republic has to be sort of... Oh. Interesting. Join France. Well, that's kind of weird, I'll be honest. That's kind of weird. Let's go and train our soldiers. We have no guns. We have a lot of things. Man, Spain is just... Spain is kind of painful. Let's go and consolidate and merge them all. Wow, that's all we got? That sucks. <clears throat> we won the vote. I love democracy. Okay, cool. So that one won. The other one did not, which is kind of weird, but whatever. Go and train these guys as well. Who needed political power? So we did that one. And we have that national spirit for now, which honestly isn't not very much, but whatever. Uh, funding? Can we get that civ civilian factory? It helps increases uh, social democracy here. But do we want social democracy for this campaign? I don't know. I don't want to do too many political things just yet, so... Um, nationalized church art. Even more research speed. The Junta para Ampliación de Estudios studies expansion junta might be useful for scientific development and must be expanded infantry modernization would not be bad our weapons are very outdated and the army needs the funds to renovate them these funds have to be authorized by the parliament what if we did that one? Oh, we're not looking very good defend our law protection negotiate with who um socialists moderate conservatives we went with them and rightists and moderate republicans I mean, those three groups, would that be enough? Ne negotiating with the rightists. Uh, they right support our law. They demand an explanation, expansion of the church, subsidy to better fund Catholic schools. Ooh. Well, government crisis. President Nico uh, Neceto Alcalzia Zamora has been trying to dismiss the government for some time now. Angry about the anti Catholic measures, the cabinet has approved today. He finally said to replace Manuel Anzania with. Leroy, however, his failure to reform a stable coalition led to his replacement by moderate radical Diego Martinez Barrio. As the government was also unsustainable, President Al Alcala Zamora has also dissolved the parliament and called for a general election on the 29th. Let's prepare for the campaign. Holy crap, this is... Oh, that's not good. We're still going to win, though, right? <coughs> Negotiate with conservatives. Give them what they want. Grain tariffs? They demand increase in their grain tariffs. Moderate Republicans? Uh, they want a help program for small businesses? Who needed political power? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> but that should guarantee us the seats, right? Just give them whatever they want, right? I don't know. We'll see what happens. Uh, yeah. 70 day focus. Holy crap. Oh, we can't even do this yet. Oh, it'll be a bypass automatically. Alright, so then after that, I'm not sure what's going to happen, so. I don't want to lose any... We basically don't even get political power anyways right now. I want to get better consumer goods, but... Appease the SEDA. Revise labor leg negotiations and legislation. Trusting market. <coughs> the Spanish electoral system. As the Cortes are dissolved, political parties left and right, big and small, prepare the strategy and campaign for the upcoming November election. This is very important because coalitions for small and small differences in vote numbers can result in big changes on the national seat allocation. Before the upcoming election, Spain is divided in 60 electoral districts. They are each of the 50 provinces, and the cities of Ceuta, Melilla, Madrid, Barcelona, Bilbao, Valencia, Zaragoza, Murcia, Sevilla, and Malaga that form their own district. Each district elected a number of deputies proportional to its population, roughly one per 50,000 people, yet each voter can vote for a small number for a number of deputies, around 80% of the total deputies of the district. For example, Burgos elects eight deputies, and each voter can only vote for six. Then eight the eight most voted candidates are elected to the Cortes, as long as they've obtained at least 20% of the total vote. If not, a second round is held that elects the vacant seats. In practice, this means that the people will vote for lists and all deputies, and the lists gain a similar number of votes. For example, in Burgos, during the last election, the right-wing voters all voted for the six candidates included in the right-wing list, which, as the most voted one, won six seats while the left could only win the remaining two, despite a difference of a thousand votes between both sides. This forces parties to form big coalitions, disproportionately punishing parties that go alone, and forcing larger, more moderate parties to give smaller, radical ones spots on the electoral lists, as only takes 1,000 votes to swing an entire province, and 31. The left-wing forces are consolidated in big Republican lists that managed to win almost everywhere. Burgos was one of the exceptions, securing an artificial majority in Parliament, as the right was disunited and are disorganized now. With the formation of the Seda and the growing opposition of the PRR to the government, the right could very well win most of the provinces and form a new majority. This is complicated, man. Oh, oh I don't understand. All I, all I know is that I want factory electrification. How do we not have factory electrification already? Man, Spain, you are... 
go a little backwards. But at least we're building civvies. Ruling party popularity. Oh. Affection from current popularity. <laughs> we lose political power every day. God dang it. John's. Sit. Uh, Renovacion Española. Seda. Seda. A new fascist party. Let's send a former dictator Miguel Primero de Rivera. Jose Antonio Pro, 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 uh, Primo de Rivera. Let's create a new political party. The fa a fascist ideology called Falange Española. It seems the Spanish fascism is organizing itself. Keep an eye on them. Oh. Okay, well, we just kind of sort of talked about them. For the love of God, we better get this one done. Come on, man. We spent way too much PP getting that stuff done. Formation of the right-wing union. As the election approaches, the CDEA, or CDA, is trying to secure a victory in as many districts as possible. In order to do so, they have begun to form electoral alliances with everyone to the right of the PRR, including the monarchist Renovacion Española, the Carlists, Comunión Tradicionalista, the Garens, the Centrist Republicans, the Catalan Regionals Liga, and even the fascist Falange Española, whose leader, José Antonio Primo de Rivera, has been given the second place in the right-wing list of Cadets. This coalition named the Union de Derechas, or Frente de Derechas, is likely to see significant success in the coming elections. Will they gain a majority? We lost the... Okay, this is, this is bugged. This is completely bugged. This has got to be bugged. We lost the vote. How? How did we lose the vote with 208 out of 235? How? But elections are 33. Please let me know if I'm going crazy here. It was 238, right? It was 238 out of 235. Was it not? Please let me know if I'm screwing up here in the comments below, because that doesn't make any sense to me, but... Well, the results are here. I assume that there are, are two clear winners of the election. The Radical Republicans, the PRR, and the C new CD... A party, and have managed to take most seats in the Cortez thanks to electoral law that favors coalitions. The Socialists have lost lots of seats, and while well, Anzania's Republicans have been decimated. This disaster for the left can be explained by their disunity, punished by the electoral system, but they also by the CNT decision of abstaining instead of supporting the left-wing parties, caused by their anger over the Casas Vejas killings earlier this year. This was also the first Spanish election in which the women voted, as per the 1931 Constitution. Lero will form a new government. Oh, okay. The road's a flamboyant tough guy, huh? Well, now what? The elections. Okay, and then fiscal reforms. Joaquin Japapreta, the new minister of finances, has grand plans for Spain. A sharp austerity program will strengthen the economy, or that's what he thinks. Now we're losing political power. We have a popular 22.9%. Leftist campaign. As the election approaches and right organizes, the left has begun to do so as well. On Zionist AR and the PSOE have formed electoral alliances in some provinces, often including the Radical Republican Socialist Party and other small center left parties. With women, a more conservative demographic, voting for the first time, they're disgruntled CNT refusing to participate. The left wing parties expected to see, lose a big amount of seats. Even on Zania, the last head of government has refused to lead the leftist list in Madrid as it is expected to do very poorly and has instead been given a place in Preto's socialist list in Bilbao. Meanwhile, the communist PCE has been given a spot on the left wing list in Malagia. I was expected socials a stronghold. The future seems bleak for them, but let's go get some, uh, I don't want to lose I'll get more civvy. Revised labor legislation. The reforms passed by the previous government are very unprofitable, and we should consider replacing them by with more flexible ones. Or we'll do this one first, out of the depression. <clears throat> it's time to get Spain out of the dirt and transform this country into an industrialized nation. The new president of the parliament. Today, the new Cortez has been constituted and must choose a new president of the parliament. Will the new president be from our party, or shall we choose a coalition partner? Who are who are we? Liberal cons oh my gosh, who the heck is this? Liberal conservatives, PRR, um, liberal conservatism, liberal conservatism, or Seda, social conservatism. Uh, I mean, we're Luis Lucia Lucia. I'll be honest, I want to choose this guy because he's got two. His name is like there twice, so let's go with that one. Maybe we should know that one. We'll get more to apart from that. Point. Yeah, that's not terrible. This is all bugged. I, I, I'll be honest. Like, this seems bugged. I don't want to do this if this seems bugged. We'll do it one more time, maybe. Um, oh, we can do that. Restore civil rights. Have been restricted due to threats of the, to the Republic since almost 31. We should get them back. Did you get more daily political power? That's not bad either. Form charge subsidy. Oh, man. I want more political power. Dude. Oh, political power again. That's really good. Ley de gobernados civiles. Increase the power of the government appointed governors and reduce power of the military authorities in local town halls. Um, I would love to get more. That's a lot more political power. We could try that. Negotiate, defender law. Want that's that should be good enough, right? Unless I'm wrong, we need to have like a supermajority to get any votes in. 
Negotiate with the conservatives, give them what they want. The far right supports centralization. After speech with Miguel Robes, the radical CD CEDA. CEDA. The monarchists and the fascists have all announced their support for the government's new centralization program. The Carlos have refused that they believe that all rights have to be respected. Their support's welcome. And Francesca Masia dies. The president of Catalonia, Francesca Francesca Masia, passed out due today due to several severe appendicitis. Visible head of the political ca Catalanism, Masia founded the Estat uh, Catala Party in 21 with one goal. Catalan independence. In 31, he proclaimed the Catalan Republic while the monarchy fell in Madrid. The new Republican government agreed to grant Catalonia autonomy in exchange for the suspension of the independence declaration. Thus, elections to the Catalan Parliament were held in Masia's party, the result of the merge of his Estat Catala and the Catalonian, or Catalan Republican Party. Esquerra Republicana de Catalunya won the elections. Masia has been president for a year before passing out. Now, the ex president of the Catalan Parliament, Luis Companies, is expected to become the new president of Catalonia. Memento Mori. Uh, I like this beards and stuff. Like Commonwealth of the Philippines, congratulations. Cool. And reports rate, more research speed. Just more research speed. Connect a country. It's not bad. How am I doing that? Sp support urbanization. Chuckle war is over. All right. Yeah. I want to just kind of race down through here. Revitalize the economy. <clears throat> Do we need more resources right now? We need aluminum and rubber, which makes sense. But that won't give us anything there. Uh, blend and fossils. <coughs> Excuse me. Nice infiltration tactics. Depth and defense is fine. Um, I do want to get more stability. That would be nice. U.S. withdraws from Nicaragua. I guess we'll revise labor negotiations next or legislation. So is this going to fail for us? It's probably going to fail for us. No, we have two three five, two three five one out of two thirty five, three three two out of four seventy. For the love of God, can we please just win one? This this doesn't make any sense, man. Here, totally attack Portugal. Actually, what else are we doing here? What's our navy like? Probably not very good, is it? There's some subbies. Some subbies and some chubbies. Interwar machine tools. Nice. Factory alpha would be good to get as well. Um, just throw them all together. There you go. Fascist unification. The two fascist organizations, Falange and the National Syndicates of the Johns, or Johns as formed today in the F.E. Johns. Fascism is growing under our noses. Keep an eye on them. Cool. We need a sea wolf. We don't have one. Okay, then. Spotting speed, positioning. Cool. Where does USSR in this campaign? Or this mod? Uh, actually, you have one. There you go. Go out of the depression. Revise labor legislation. And you guys do the best you can with whatever you got. Naval. Ooh. <coughs> Cruiser captain. That's not terrible. Screening efficiency is not bad. He's a riotous. Positioning. Ah, grab that guy. Because he can. We won the vote. Oh, thank God. I love democracy. Well, thank God. We at least won one of these things. Jesus Christ. Authoritarian seats. Look at that. Not bad. Tax cuts for small businesses. For big businesses. Goose. Goose for goods. Reform church subsidy. Eh. Security research should be restored civil rights. Uh, I do want more stability. Liberalized railways. That's not bad either. So military service. Research speed, naval dockyards, not too bad. Um, hmm. Also, that has a bigger effect. I like the political power, but I don't want to lose consumer goods yet. Marketism. Uh, try to get more stability, I guess. Tax cuts for small businesses? We could try that one. 112. Parliament explanation. Lose political power. Uh, Republicans. Seats 35, 10. Moderate conservatives? Oops, well, I'll do them all again. Screw it. Ah, I don't know. <clears throat> Probably a bad idea, but whatever. Give them what they want. Liberal conservatives. Uh, if I say no, you don't get any more. Negotiate. We won't be able to support another all for a while. Or this one. Give them what they want. Small businesses will receive government help we pass a law. Yeah, that's fine. Technically, it should pass, right? Yeah, don't do that one. <laughs> Lose more political power for this one, too. 132 is more than half for 235, right? That it is more than half. Occupation of 
Ifni. Although Ifni was recognized by the French as a Spanish territory long ago, it was yesterday when yes Spanish soldiers took possession of the place. The Spanish flag flies over another city. Long live Spain, long live the Republic. Republicans reorganize. After the crushing defeat in the last elections, Anzania's Republicans have decided to merge as many Republican parties as they can. As the electoral law favors coalitions, Anzania's party, Republican Action, has joined the Galician Autonomous Republican Organization of Cesare's Cesare's Kyrga and some other minor parties in the PPRR splits splinters to form a new party, the IR Republican Left. <clears throat> this union makes a Republican victory in the coming elections a likely scenario. Learn from your mistakes. I swear to God, we better get this one passed. The other Republic. Cool. Viva la Republica. I don't know, man. We'll see. With that extra political power gain, though, that's really good. I wish we could just keep this one here forever. That's very nice. Very nice. Budget readjusting is not bad. It's oh, re view the military. <coughs> Excuse me. The PRR splits. Satisfied with the liberal policy, the progressive wing of the PRR, led by Diego Martinez Barrio, has left the party and created its own, called the PRD or the Radical Democratic Party. This movement is a blow for liberal, but it keeps the government and most of its party loyal. That sucks. Divisions within a party. Bad news. Traitors. Oh crap. That's not good. We still have one twenty-two though. So our place in the world. Well, let's keep going this way. Re budget adjustments. We're spending too much money. It's time to make our spending cuts to, the, to keep the economy afloat. <clears throat> 0.51 still not too bad. And then just get some more stability next. Parliament debates and decentralization. Today's session of Congress is dedicated to the regional autonomy debate. Regional groups like the ERC and the PNV have taken the floor to defend their statutes of autonomy and demand more privileges, while riots and liberals protested furiously and took the floor to defend Spanish unity above all. It's our turn to speak. What should our spokesperson say? My parliament group and myself will never allow separatists to break into your country. As long as it's legal, decentralization must be a, a possibility. We'll go with this one. <coughs> a trusting market. The economy will improve if the market our country trusts our country to invest in. That will also raise employment, calming the social situation. <coughs> Not bad. Not great, but not bad. And goes Haiti. Can't they just stay quiet? Oh, crap. No, it's 122 still, so... We should be able to get it, but then you know what? The game is probably going to... It might screw us over. We should be able to get it, right? Because with ex explanation, right? You get bonuses, and I get suffer penalty. Uh, support of at least the, the amount... the uh, Support of at least the amount of seats shown. Should be half the total seats. Round to the nearest injured. Some parties will allow support parlors, policies, and stuff like that. So, we should have it. Then again, I was wrong before. Come on. Come on. What the heck? Okay, so th they're just screwing us over. 122 is at least half of 235, right? I feel like I just gave myself like political power anyways. Because this is stupid. If it's not going to work, then don't implement it. Like this. What's the point of implementing this? Crop contracts law? The Catalan government, led by Luis and companies, <clears throat> has just passed a law through the Catalan parliament. The Lille uh, Lai de Contractus de Conru, or Crop Contracts Law, that grants the farmers the right to work on the land they currently cultivate for at least six years. The law intends to solve the problem of the Rabasa Morta, contracts that expire when the plants die, leading to an increase in rural unemployment. Several conservative landowners have asked for a coalition partner, the CEDA, to pressure the government to take the law to the Constitutional Court, as some laws see it as illegal. We'll see what happens. But seriously, like, if we have a majority, like, am I wrong here? Do we not have a majority? We should have an absolute majority, at least for, you know, what we're trying to get. And for it to fail every time, it doesn't make any sense. Destroy carbines? So I'm done with this. I'm done with this. Like, I'm, I'll wait until, like, the next episode to read your comments about this stuff. But, like, holy crap. Like, that's a waste of time and political power. I'm not going to do that anymore. Holy crap. That's really dissatisfying. Really incredibly dissatisfying. After the trusting market, we're probably going to do open new mines. Infrastructure will be good to do, yeah. Plan de un un enlaces ferrovirios. We should finish the PEF, signed in 1932, to bail out railway companies and avoid the breakup of our transport network. How many guns do we have? None. And actually, uh, CEDA asked for ministers. Gil Robles. As demanded Leroux the inclusion of the various CEDA ministers in his cabinet. Well, the proposal is logic, given that CEDA is the largest party in the parliament and has been supporting Leroux for some time now. The left is declaring that doing it would be a gateway to fascism. We have no other choice. 
After a month, and with a difference of, a, of only three votes, the Constitution of Court has declared the Catalan Parliament incompetent to change the nature of the contractual obligations, as Article 15 of the Constitution assigns its competence to the central government. This strengthens the government, but its relations with Catalonia, Catalonia are da damaged. Catalonia has to obey the law. Is it because we don't? We can't win here because we have on a, a historical. I kind of doubt it, but <clears throat> I'm not sure what else to think. Like this is, it's not very good, man. Increase military budget. It's not bad. Military inefficiency. Civil war avoided. Yeah. Let's see what happens. Negotiate with Catalonia. Restore constitutional order in Catalonia. All right. Um. Hmm. Infrastructure. Cap's not bad. I won't. Infrastructure. Expand the maritime links. We are have a very rough terrain, but the Mediterranean is a very friendly sea to Salem. We should use it to connect our cities to complement land connections. A new Republican Party, the PRR, Splinter Party, the PRD, and the Radical Socialist Republican Party, liberal despite its name, have announced unification into a new Republican Party, the Republican Union, which will probably be the right wing of Republicanism. We have enough parties already. Yeah, I don't understand all these rep parties. Like, you know, as much as people complain about the Democrats and Republicans in America, like, there's too many parties here, man. Can you just, like, throw them into one, two big groups? Uh, Ramon e Cajal died. The famous scientist, uh, Santiago Ramon e Cajal, winner of the Nobel Prize in 1906 due to his neuroscience work, has passed out today in his house in Madrid. One of the greatest figures in history has been lost. Memento Mori. Has passed out? You mean died. <laughs> Socialist Revolution. After the inclusion of the CEDA ministers, the Socialist Party is organized with the support of the CNT and the UGT, a grand insurgent, insurrection in all of the country to prevent the rise of fascism. However, the revolution has failed in every place, with the exception of Asturias. The Asturian Soviet has now that now challenges the government is weak, but it survives long enough, it may inspire more workers to rise up in revolt. Oh. We will crush the rebels. Play is them. Socialist Uprising. Oh, that's cool. Well, obviously not good for these guys, but I don't really care. Um, do they have your own unique focus tree? The Kamin Ramon Peña. Ah, oh, they sort of do. <coughs> Yo, in, boys. And don't forget to take a few uh, planes with you. Catalonia declares independence. Catalan President Luis Companies has declared the independence of Catalonia. He is now moving towards the Barcelona garrison with hopes of convincing them to join his side. Will we have to fight on another front? Probably. We actually might be able to win here before uh, anything else, so. And we got their victory point. The revolution has been crushed. Our brave troops have managed to quell the Austrian revolt, bringing the end of the Socialist Revolution. Now we must deal with the aftermath of that revolt. The status of the Socialist Party, the imprisonment and fire workers, and the polarization and fear this eruption of violence has caused. Victor, victor, victory. Uh, you got nothing there I really care about. Cool. Well, let's see what happens. Nice. Things are just falling apart here in Spain, that's all. Revolution, revolt contained. General Domenech Batet, the leader of the Barcelona garrison, has done what we expected. He's taken the city and arrested companies. Catalonia is back under control. Oh, I mean, we're ready to move, man. We are ready to go. We are ready to blow things up. We're ready to have a good old time. Why deny us a good old time, man? Well, connect the country. If we want to have a capable industry, we need to have every city connected to a transport network. You know, maybe this was better. Moderate. The Algerian reform. The Algerian reform was maybe a little bit too radical. We've got to continue it. But we can moderate it to make it more acceptable to our southern landowners. Slightly less political power. Which we're going back down to minus 30, which sucks. But we get more consumer goods, which is nice. I guess we crushed the revolt. It's kind of nice. Oh, look at that. Pretty nice. Central range finding. We could do that, but that's not super necessary right now. Um, got some anti air. We might need some anti air, actually. Is there anything else we can do here? No industry. Yeah, get some more factory output. Like, we're probably gonna definitely gonna need that. Get some better guns too. And we're all trained up. There's only one of you guys, 16 combat. With. This is not terrible. You guys are all 16 combat with, with two of those things. That's not that bad actually. Goodbye. Thank you. All right. A few days left. What is Italy up to? Kingdom of Yugoslavia is looking nice and thick. Looks like kind of cool. VMRO activities, eh? 
Ah, uh, moderate the reforms, why not? Screw it, we'll do it. And reopen Catholic schools? I want the military reform for the land auction stuff. Gilles Robles is the new war minister, and he will start a grand army reform, bringing more experience in right-wing generals to the higher ranks. Federico Garcia Lorca, Lanto por Ignacio Sanchez Mejas. One of the greatest poets of Spain, FGCL, FGL, has published today's new poem book. The theme is a lament for the death of his friend, the writer and bullfighter Ignacio Sanchez Mejas, who died last year due to an injury caused by a bull. The poem is usual in its author. Are very passionate and full of feelings, though some despise him due to his homosexuality. We all love our poets and a new Catholic newspaper. The day of the Catholic newspaper, Ya, yeah, has published its first edition. The newspaper is likely to begin going to be another platform for the right to attack the Republic as they consider it godless. Let them have their news. Cool. So we'll see what happens. We will see what happens. Hopefully get some more stuff we can do here, like early mobilization. Man, I'd love that political power. Yeah, this stuff is just not ready to go yet. I, I would love this. This looks great. It really does, but if it, we just fail randomly, it's not it's not good enough for me. So, but I'm sure it's gonna be it's gonna get worked on. And I I wanted to do Spain because I've heard there's just so many different paths you can take. So, yeah. I, ooh, there's Rikers here. Hey, Adolf, Albert, Thomas. Hey, Mr. Stalin. He's looking kind of up. Moder moderate the reforms, uh, military reforms, defense in depth, and tank warfare would be good to do as well. Follow it up with reopen Catholic schools. Let's go through this part as fast as possible. The previous government tried to reform the education, but they ended up closing more schools than they built. We have to reopen Catholic schools to guarantee that every child has an education. Nice. Some artillery stuff. And improve industrial capacity. Uh, it is 35, so happy 35. This mod still moves pretty darn quickly, which I love, love, love. 35. Cap. Plus ten percent or five percent, we get more base. Base is just better, but let's grab that more, just more, ba more just output. In Romania, Republic of Turkey, huh? Dude, I love this guy's hat. He's got a great hat. And Georgia fifth, Chinkai Shek, Hirohito, State of Manchuria, Puyi. I mean, I should play Puyi sometime in uh, this mod. Calm before the storm. Nice. Are we losing political power yet? No, point two five is not great though. But. Anzal Kolar incidents. Bad news. The fight happened today in Anzal Kolar, Seville, when several left wing agitators, supporters, attacked a group of phalangists. Two people, one leftist and one phalangist, have died, and both radical organizations are threatened with more attacks. Darn radicals. Darn the radicals. So now we're losing political power every single day. God dang it. I just want more political power, man. How do we get more political power? I'd love to get some more of this stuff, but there's literally no point to do it. I do want to finish this setup first, too. The Day of the Republic? Yay! You're really losing political power every single flipping day. Appease the CEDA. We have agreed to all the CEDA's reforms. They should be more calm and willing to work with us and the Republic. Which should already be the case, but whatever. Um, I don't want to change this too much yet. We already have 20 army XP. Uh, what else do we have here? Anything else? Anti Defender City. Oh, 1935, Vuelta a España. Yesterday, ended the first tour of the Sp in Spain in bicycles, with Belgian Gustave Delour ending in first place. Let's hope the event is repeated next year. Cheers. Armored Recon Company, Cavalry... What do you mean Defender Cities? It's just anti-air, right? Germany reintroduces conscription. Are we headed towards another war? Nonsense. We are not. We're... We, here in Spain, are definitely not geared towards another war. I can't guarantee you that, but we're probably not geared towards it. Also, for occupied territories, um, honestly, just... You guys use... Oh, you're only on support. Oh, hold on. Yeah, you know, you use engineers. Expand engineers core. Um, I don't mind maybe editing this. Artillery upgrade, nice. Uh, let's go with... We might actually use anti-tank. Let's get some better artillery first. Let's duplicate this. Save that. Open Catholic schools. Take this off. And do that. There you go. And appease the group. So now we can come over here and do that. Save us just slightly some support equipment. It's not very much, but going forward it should help us out. <clears throat> and we need it just a little bit more. Our core population is 25 million, which is not that much. And 900,000 are non-core population, which is probably, you know, Africa and stuff like that. Al Rif, Rio de Oro, Islas Canarias, Canarias. It's not bad. Connect our country, though. If we want a capable industry, we need to have every city connected to a transport network. Which would be nice. Very, very nice. Uh, 
Well, we'll see what happens. Oh, Austria. Who's leading Austria? Oh, you're a bunch of far-right authoritarians. Good. Votes of production will be very nice. Not bad. Artillery's looking pretty good, though. We only have one factory on it, but... It's still, of course, great war artillery, but whatever. Nice. The CEDA. How's Brazil looking? United States of Brazil. Mr. Wheelchair Man. <clears throat> High unemployment rate. United Mexican States. Cool. And we'll do this one. Connect our country. Follow it up with... Oh, look at that. Negative political power. It's a lot better right now, but still not great. Not fighting the Civil War. Pyrenees Walls. Um, Remove the old guard. Now, I don't think we really do too much here with this stuff. I'd like to do that, but it seems like we don't really need to focus on that just yet. I guess we're going to open up new mines, though. To support an industry, we need raw goods. And there are plenty of them untapped in Asturias and Malaga. We have to get them. Which makes sense. <sighs> Revitalize the economy. Review the mining grants. Galician tungsten, which would be nice. Which, we try to pass that, but whatever. Earlier, universities. Oh, I want the actual research slot. We need that one. Thriving internal market with Spanish economical boom. Or economic boom. Economic militarization. Enrichment of the Spaniard. That's not bad. Yeah, we'll see what happens. So. Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Iraq. Egypt. The Ethiopian Empire. Do they have any focus for So, Pedro Los Scandal. Oh, they kind of do, actually. That's kind of cool. A letter just arrived to the president. Necito Alcalde Azamor. Detailing the bribes done... To the head of government, Leroy, and his minister, Rafael Salazar Alonso. The letter written by the author of the bribes. The businessman, Daniel Strauss, the bri that bribed Leroy to achieve permission for his game, Straperlo, whose name is a combination of the names of the investors, Strauss, Perl, and Luan, to be hosted in Spanish casinos. After a few hours, the sole governor of Guipuzcoa Guiz has already banned the game where it was introduced. Signed Sebastian and Strauss threatened Leroy with making the bribes public if he didn't offer them compensation. Leroy refused, and Strauss wrote the letter. The PRR has already had some reputation as being corrupt, and this seems to be the last nail in the coffin. Outrageous. At first, I'm like, post war recovery, post war economy. Lero resigns. Lero and his minister, Rafael Salazar, are the ones that accepted their bribes, have just resigned. The PRR is in shambles, and scandal seems to have inflicted a severe blow to the Republican liberalism. Well, crap. A new government. <clears throat> Lero has resigned. A new government must be reformed. Alcala Zamora has two options forming a centrist cabinet with until new elections are held, or we'll call the CEDA, the biggest part of the parliament, to form a new government. We must be aware of the Guild of Robles, though. His intentions are unknown. I don't know, man. Conservatives will leave a faction in the centrist government. I don't know. You know what? How about this? You guys decide which way we go. Should we go for this option right now? The centrist government, or should we choose the CEDA? I will leave that up to you, because I... I'm open to either side. So, if you enjoyed the video, though, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below if you haven't already. Please let me know if I'm doing anything wrong here as well. But, thanks for watching, and I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.